Hey, this is Anthony from CarPlayLife.com and today I thought I would do a first install of the CarPlay to Air unit uh, for factory fitted systems with existing wired card play. This dongle makes it wireless. So a few people have asked, um, instructions are a bit difficult to understand on how to actually install this. So I thought I'll uh, oblige and just literally give you a video uh, rundown of how to install it basically so let's get going so I'm in my Golf GTI Mark 7 um, I if you don't follow this channel um, you will not know that I've had the MIB one replaced with an Alpine uh, X 902d uh, dash G7 Alpine unit it's a CarPlay unit a wired one uh, and the whole point of um, this video really and um, for anyone that's got CarPlay already uh, is to uh, get this CarPlay to air dongle uh, into your existing USB port that you would use with your lightning cable to your iPhone and um, get your iPhone transmitting wirelessly to your CarPlay system um, and um, you use your phone without any cables basically. This dongle basically acts like a, an iPhone that's connected to the CarPlay system but your phone will transmit to this instead. Um, that's pretty much how this works. Um, so at the moment we've got a an I, my iPhone wired to uh, my Alpine unit. Um, I've taken all the profiles off it. I think I've even taken my Bluetooth off it. Let me just check. Yeah, Bluetooth's not even uh, responding to that, so it's totally empty. Um, and um, so basically what you need to do, I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi uh, on my phone. Um, you can keep that on if you want, but basically what I'll be doing is um, plugging the dongle in and getting it all connected. So um, let me just show you with uh, the wi um, wired CarPlay working. Um, basically the car system will start and I probably won't edit this so you'll see it the time it takes for my system to start and um, to boot into CarPlay so the power is now asking me do I want to connect it to Wi-Fi uh, CarPlay um, wired CarPlay that is so I'm going to grant that and uh, my CarPlay icon will actually come up at the bottom as per usual so I tap that and I'm into CarPlay. So that's the wired. And as you'll see, I'm connecting to a aux port down here um, that got installed at the same time as my Alpine unit. So basically what I'll do now, I'll unhook this and we'll do um, wireless CarPlay, but with this dongle. So I'm gonna disconnect the, car the cable, the USB cable from the actual auxiliary port. You might have a different port elsewhere on your car, but what will what I recommend that you do is that you just keep using the same port that you would do for wired CarPlay. We'll be using that exactly the same USB port. So I'm going to take my wire out of here as well. So as you can see, uh, CarPlay is literally gone from uh, the menu system here. Right, next, you get your, uh, your CarPlay to Air dongle or CarLink. Uh, car link it dongle it's pretty much the same thing and we're going to plug it back into the USB port uh, here and you'll see I don't know if you'll be able to see this but you'll see uh, a red light stay permanently on there and uh, your CarPlay display will then show this and it's basically asking to connect to Bluetooth so what we want to do here, basically, you want to search, um, uh, tap for search, or we can try home. Let's try search. See, it's bringing up here and it's found my phone. So what I need to do, um, it's uh, failed because basically I will need to find it on my Bluetooth devices. So if I 
902D is basically the car, uh, the wired version. We actually want this one here, which is main M M36 D5, which mirrors exactly what it says here. Um, main M36 D5. So we press this on the, my Bluetooth settings. That will then try and pair. It was now paired. And if you look down here, it's still red. And it will eventually turn blue, this light on this dongle. Uh, this is all staying connecting. But of my phone now says, uh, do you want to use uh, this with CarPlay? Yes, I do. And then it's going to search on here again. Waiting to connect. It's still red on this dongle here. Um, it says it's not connected. So what we'll do, we'll tap it to try and launch. Uh, the Wi-Fi signal will now turn off on the phone. And we're now into CarPlay without any wires using the dongle in the, um, whoops, using the dongle, which will now show red still which is a bit odd I normally have that as blue so oddly um, a blue uh, light would normally indicate that it's connecting and trans transmitting but as you can see everything is working as it should do really um, you're hearing the radio at the moment in the background but um, I will play my Spotify playlist And then it's playing through there. And if I go to my phone uh, and I bring up the, the full view and then I press on here, you will see this change at the same time between different tracks. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So um, if you're having trouble, just make sure your Bluetooth is connected to the system and not the actual CarPlay system. Otherwise it won't work. Uh, make note of the actual um, Bluetooth pairing device that you have to look for in your Bluetooth um, menu. Um, the dongle is red still um, and it's not flashing but I just think that's just a normal um, maybe that's a glitch and a bug in the latest version. I'm also using um, uh, iOS 13.4 uh, beta 2 public release so it might be conflicting with that as well but everything is working Apple Maps is working um, there's a dashboard uh, we can go to Waze and then um, that's pretty much it really there's not much else to report it, it just works um, not many people are uh, having any problems with this um, if they are it's either a compatibility issue or the person who's having trouble isn't connecting it properly or looking at their devices properly or they might not have um, conflicting with um, Wi-Fi in the car. Sometimes Wi-Fi enabled cars can conflict with this. So you've got to make sure you're unpaired from any Wi-Fi in your car. Um, if you're doing it outside uh, and your home router is interfering, you can maybe sometimes disconnect from that so it knows exactly who to pair it with. But as you can see with me, I've not had a problem and I have I was also previously connected to my home Wi-Fi so, and I didn't have any problems. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, you've seen the whole process. Um, if you have any questions, I'll try and answer them um, in the comments below and um, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.